Hi guys, this is Val from Val K Inc. Welcome to another 12 days of anime. I'm having so much fun filming and editing these. It's been a blast so far. And I thought it would be fun to talk about some more personal anime to me so you guys can kind of get a sense of who I am. Anyone who is a viewer on my channel can pretty much tell that I love One Piece. It's one of those things that people kind of constantly ask, but I've never really gone into more depth. Why One Piece? When I was younger, I was the kind of person that was very introverted and very emotional, and I didn't do very well with the other kids in my classes. Surprise, surprise. One thing that I really did enjoy was reading and finding new things to read. The other thing I really enjoyed was art and seeing new types of art. That's why I really fell in love with manga and comic books. I really, truly got into anime and manga from a series called Magic Knight Ray Earth, which is a great little series. It's old and classic and it's still near and dear to my heart. But as I got more and more into Magic Knight Ray Earth, I got more and more into the world of anime and manga. When that happened, I definitely was at a point where I was reading as much as I could, and I couldn't wait to get more. This was also around the same time that Shonen Jump America was going to come out. I was so excited for Shonen Jump, you guys. I was finally going to be able to read Sandland. It was another Akira Toriyama venture into manga, and I loved Dragon Ball Z at the time, so I was really excited to pick that one up. I remember I I went to the store myself and bought it and walked home with it. I read everything in there except for One Piece. I said to myself, well, I really like pirates and I really like manga, but I don't know if I'll like pirate manga. I just decided to read it. And the first chapter was so endearing and the art style was so weird and different. And Luffy was so lovable. I just connected with it in a way that none of the other manga in that first issue connected to me. I, I can't explain why it was One Piece, but something about that world, that sense of humor, those weird character designs, that strange power Luffy had that normally people wouldn't base a whole comic on, was just enjoyable. At that point, that's when I sent in my little card that I wrote in and I subscribed and got Shonen Jump shipped to my door. Gosh, it's such a good memory to me reading those first chapters of One Piece. I remember reading a chapter and thinking, oh, this is so, this is so good. I, I can't wait to see what Luffy does next. I hope this person joins the crew. I remember being really excited with the Barate arc because I really wanted Sanji to join. And I was waiting in the mail for these manga issues to come in and I really, really enjoyed One Piece. And it was the one manga in there I wasn't really keen on when I was buying the first issue of Shonen Jump, but it's the one manga I fell in love with the most. And I think sometimes we like something a little bit more when it surprises us. Or maybe that's just me, I don't know. Uh, the years went on and I still really liked One Piece, but I got distracted by a lot of other things. There was also a point in my life where I thought I really should stop reading manga and be an adult. And that was depressing because I couldn't figure out why I was so sad all the time. And it came back to the fact that I stopped drawing, I stopped playing video games for a bit, I stopped reading manga, I stopped watching anime. I stopped enjoying the things that I actually truly loved. I still got older and things got kind of worse for me. I was in a job I hated, I had a terrible relationship with my parents, uh, lost a lot of my friends who had moved away, and another friend of mine passed away, and I was in this really dark place. I was really heartbroken and I felt like I really don't deserve to exist. That's a really horrible place to be and I pray that none of you are in that place yourselves. If so, please go seek help. One night I was really depressed and I didn't know what to do with myself and I wanted something that would make me feel happy again. And I don't know why exactly, but I picked up volume one of One Piece and started reading from chapter one. And every night I kept reading more and more chapters. And every night I kept reading more chapters and re-watching the anime. I started from episode one and watched about eight or nine episodes a night because I really wasn't doing anything else with my time. Something sparked in me. Something made me happy again. Just enjoying the characters, enjoying the world, and seeing that there are things to love in this world. And it doesn't matter if I don't fit the norm. It doesn't matter 
you know, that I'm that adult now or I'm that uh, a, a important person. You know, it mattered that I was happy. And One Piece just makes me happy in a way not too many other things do. And so ever since that moment, I've, you know, come back out of my shell. I've gone back to drawing. I've gone back to video games. You know, I've gone back to enjoying anime and manga again. I've, I've actually started a YouTube channel just so I can talk about these things and connect with other people that like them. I've built up this wonderful relationship with my family and I have so many more friends and I'm actually really glad that that happened because I'm taking care of myself more now. I lost, you know, like 50 pounds since that dark time in my life and I'm actually doing much better. And I kind of owe it all to the spark of going back to One Piece. I just enjoy everything about it. I love the struggle that's happening in the story. I love the world. Uh, I love the weird powers and weird designs. I don't have another anime or manga right now that has that kind of strength in me the way One Piece does. And collecting all of the items just makes me happy, and when I wake up in the morning and see those things, I start off my day on the right foot. I think everyone deserves something in their life that does that for them. I'm still really loving it. I think the current arc is really amazing. It's so in-depth now and Oda is doing so much with so many different characters. I just really enjoy it and I think I'm going to be enjoying it for a long time and even after One Piece is over, even if I find another venture in my life that I love this much, One Piece will always have a special place in my heart. That's why I'm so careful about talking details about different anime and manga, because I don't know if a certain anime or a certain manga did that for someone the way One Piece does for me. I'm not out to hurt anybody's feelings when I speak about anime or manga. I want to share what I love and I want to hear about what you guys love, and I think that's what's so wonderful about the 12 days of anime. Anyway, that's my piece, that's my explanation for why I love One Piece so much, and I hope that makes sense to you guys, and I hope everyone out there has something that makes their lives enjoyable the way One Piece is for me. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next 12 days for anime. Bye guys! Mwah.